Hello Libra, it's my lady from my Lady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of let me move this over. Um July 15th through the 22nd, 2019. The cards I'm using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I'm closing off with my Wild Unknown Tarot by Kim Kranz. Alright, your cards are ready to speak, so let's get this show on the road. Alright, so it seems like you may be in a situation that you're not destined to be in, okay? And I feel like as long as you're in this situation, things will not go that great, okay? Alright, so I do feel like whatever this situation is, it has you um, sacrificing something, okay? So I do feel like you're, gonna, you're getting ready to get rid of something that you really don't need. Something that's going to destroy you, okay? Something that's going to ruin your life, all right? Or something that you feel is going to ruin your life, all right? <clears throat> Libra, 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 what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right, so I saw the lover's card, so I do feel like some kind of love interest is getting ready to ruin your life, or you feel like it is going to. And I feel like, of course, it's not for everybody. I feel like some of you guys are getting ready to get rid of that, okay? Okay, there we go again. So we got the sacrifice card. So I do feel like somebody has to make a major sacrifice here, okay? And of course, this sacrifice is hurting them. If you look close, I don't know. No, you don't. But I saw it. it looked like she had tears, but she don't. But I do feel like somebody's going to make a choice that's going to hurt them, okay? So we got some kind of arrogant person here. Very nasty, very arrogant. But I feel like since this is up top, I do feel like some both of you guys are arrogant on some level. But I feel like this person is crazy, arrogant, belittling. Um, I feel like this person likes to try to publicly humiliate you, okay? So it'll be the other way around. Either you the predator or the prey. All right, so we got the Atlantis card here. So I feel like this person just going to be like this all of a sudden. All of a sudden, this person is just going to be like from one level of arrogance to a whole new king level. Okay, so somebody reached the highest level. And I feel like, oh, wow, I feel like somebody just wants you to leave them. That's the feeling because if you just disrespecting somebody like this, you must not want them around, okay? All right, so we got the air card reverse here. So I do feel like you're emotionally exhausted by this. You don't have anything left inside of you because of what this person is doing and saying, okay? I feel like I don't want to go outside and see the world anymore. That's how this person is making me feel. They're making me feel like dirt, you know? I mean, I feel like dirt is better than me right now. I feel like poop, real poop, okay? All right, so we got Song of the Sirens here. So I do feel like somebody lately has been telling you what's going on, okay, what's happening. Um, everybody's been letting you know they noticing how this person is treating you and how this is unusual. I do feel like you're getting signs and messages from your higher powers as well, energies of angels and stuff. And I, spirit guides as well, I feel like they're letting you know what's going on with this person. I feel like they've been telling you for a while. I just feel like you just didn't want to hear it, okay? You didn't want to hear it. But now it's just like a, somebody just went to a whole new level, okay? So I do feel like you got a big a bit of baggage going on here. Um, let's see what this baggage is all about. Give me one card, please. Okay. When I saw this baggage, I heard kids, okay? So, I don't know if this is like kids or maybe it's some sheep or something. Uh, but I do feel like it's something or somebody looking up to you, okay? And I feel like this is one of the reasons why you like, I can't do this. I can't let my children or I can't let, you know, these young people see this happening to me. You know, I don't want them to think this is okay, okay? But I do feel like this baggage is, is helping you walk away from this situation. 
Ooh. That'll do it. So we got pregnancy here. Okay. So this could just be you starting a new beginning. But like I said here, I, I keep hearing kids. So I do feel like some kind of pregnant, somebody is pregnant. And they like, I can't continue to let you treat me like this. You know, I don't want my daughter or my son to think that it's okay for you to call me out my name, for you to make me do all this embarrassing stuff, okay? All right, so we got receptivity card here. So I do feel like, I'm say straight up, I do feel like somebody just like bring me some money. Like, I don't want to deal with you anymore. You're not going to embarrass me anymore. I just want you to get away, let me have my baby, and you can send me my money. All right, that's what I'm feeling like when I see this card. <coughs> All right. Let me see. What's going on with the Libra? Libra love reading for July 17th. Through, oh no, July 15th through the 22nd, 2019. I just heard some weird noise. It sounded like a hissing noise. Like maybe a snake or something was around. Okay, so it could be some sneaky, sneaky people around. Somebody might be sneaking around. Um, but then that makes me, everything make me think of Scorpio. That make me think of a Scorpio, Okay. All right, let's go. What's going on? Libra, Libra, Libra. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right. So we got the judgment card here. So I think um, your judgment is going to go well, okay? If we're talking about the judgment of somebody paying you something that they owe you, maybe for some kind of new object or possibly for a child, okay? All right, so we got the two of swords reversed here. So it, this card makes me feel like you think you have a decision, but you really don't, okay? You think you're choosing to leave this person, but I, I feel like it, there's something bigger behind this, and I feel like it may be this child, this lesson, okay? I feel like you have no choice, unless, or that's just how you feel. Yeah, so we got a loss here. So that's like that sacrifice card, you know. You don't want to leave this situation, but you just don't want to be in this like that anymore. You don't want to be treated like this. You don't want to be treated like this. Okay, so you sad because you're losing a piece of your life, you know. But I feel like in the end, you're going to end up gaining, you know. But this is definitely going to be hard. I feel hard. I feel like sad i feel like a bit of anxiety the whole way okay like even after all this as well i feel like somebody wondering if they make the right made the right choice i feel like so all right so somebody feels like they lost the stability they lost a the household they lost you know a husband or wife or something like that um but, I, I mean, it's just like, what is your respect worth? Okay? You might have had all these things together, you know, but how much is your respect worth here? Okay? And then it's like, I do understand a, a emotional loss, you know? But it's like, that physical and mental thing, that's just like a whole nother level. So, I, I do understand, but it's just like a... You got to think about the future. Think about the child. Okay. But I do know losing the household. But uh, it, it takes time to get over. All right. So we got the moon reversed here. So I do feel like some secrets are getting ready to come out. All right. Nine of swords. Okay. So I feel like a lot of secrets getting ready to come out in the courtroom. Okay, so I don't know exactly what you guys are coming to court for, going to court for, but I do feel like a lot of stuff is going out. We had that judgment card, so I do feel like things are going to go in your favor, but I do feel like um, you're going to be put on blast as well, okay? I feel like they are also, though. Let's see what this Five of Cups is. 
All right, yes, uh, hard, very emotional, leaving a, a stable situation. I mean, like, even though there is a lot of mental abuse going on there, um, I feel like y'all had things working right. It's just like when you just keep getting emotionally beat, nobody wants that, okay? Nobody wants that, especially when they're bringing their life into the world. All right, four of wands. All right, so we got the Justice card reversed. So this makes me feel like somebody felt like their balance was stolen away. Their uh, lifestyle, their stability was stolen away, okay? Um, but this also makes me feel like, you know, whoever wrecked this home, karma is definitely coming for them. And they on the way, so you don't have anything to worry about and keep your hands and feet to yourself, okay? Mmm. All right, so we got the three of pentacles here. So I do feel like somebody may have been dealing with someone as, at work as well, okay? I do feel like it was some third-party stuff going on. Um, and I do feel like... I do feel like you might have been getting a bad reputation around probably work. Maybe you're telling work friends what's going on and everybody think all kinds of crazy stuff about you. Well, in reality, who cares what they think, you know, as long as you um, just walk away, okay? Just walk away and do what's right for you. Right now, I see, still see it's a choice of what you're going to do, you know, but in the end, it's all what's right for you, and that's all I have. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.